Yeah, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Frankie, and it's your boy Mike. Welcome to the Soul by Soul YouTube channel. We got another episode of Sneaker Watch for y'all today. But before we get into the sneakers that caught our attention, y'all, we need y'all to do two things. Give this video a like because it'll help out the channel. And right after you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything we're doing here at Soul by Soul. So we're bringing you episode five of Sneaker Watch, where we talk about sneakers that caught our attention and the moments that went along with it, man. So we got a special one. We got to start off hot. We're talking about the Air Jordan 6, Travis Scott, British khaki colorway, um, a super, super dope sneaker. And you know, Travis Scott does it again. Travis Scott's birthday was on April 30th, and he decided to drop another colorway of the Air Jordan 6 on that day. Travis Scott previously dropped these Air Jordan 6s in the olive colorway, but he's back at it again. And you know, it can't be a Travis Scott release without just like a whole marketing rollout, man. So there was a whole photo shoot dedicated to this that starred Rip Hamilton, uh, who you might know from the Detroit Pistons. He came back out of retirement for this <laughs> to represent Travis Scott. So he actually breaks it down in a, in a little IGTV video where he said he got the call from Travis trying to do this. And he was just down because it was a creative partnership. He knows Travis went off, so he was happy to be present for it. He puts back on his infamous face mask and he goes to town, man, shooting some, some hoops um, out in like this desert looking field. The sneakers are just something special, something special. That khaki colorway, I think just browns and beiges, they're really in right now. So I think that to me kind of went above the olive colorway. And then the infrared hits, uh, the, the red laces, the clear details, and then it was blowing in the dark. Like I didn't even know that when I saw the uh, original images come out. And then of course, nearing the rollout, they showed you, bam, these are also blowing in the dark if you didn't know. Just look out for these. Maybe the Soul by Soul YouTube channel got something special coming. Next up, we got a shoe that has yet to be released this year. We saw it first on BR Kicks, but we're just gonna throw up the originator. A tattoo artist from Korea actually tossed these up on the gram and it's the Nike Dunk Low Flip the Old School. What's interesting about these is that these come with a tearaway layer. So you actually don't even see what the shoe looks like until you start tearing away at all the layers and it reveals a Nike Dunk Low in like a varsity maze purplish tone. And what you see also is the swoosh is flipped. So kind of like, you know, what you would see on, let's say a Travis Scott Air Jordan 1, for example. But this actually is a nod to not just the 85 Dunk campaign, but also a Koda JP shoe that released in a similar fashion. So I think that's dope. I am not a fan of the tearaway personally. I get it, you know, it's just an added detail kind of going the extra mile, but the, for the shoe and what it is and itself alone, I think it's dope. I think it's definitely gonna be something that's gonna get a lot of hype. And, you know, shout out to this tattoo artist for, for giving us a first glimpse at what is to come. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I guess she's like a, a, a Nike sleeper agent. I don't even know why she got the sneaker, um, but super dope and there must be some connection there. So maybe we'll learn more when the sneaker kind of gets closer. It just looks like premium materials. I, I'm, I'm kind of excited for these, like not gonna lie. I, I would like, I would like to, kind of have these and see what's going on with that, review them as well. Next up, we have Edmund Sumner of the Pacers coming in. Uh, you know, league fits doesn't stop. They always got to get your flicks when you're coming down the runway. Um, but he's in just kind of like a summer fit, man. He got the biggie all over print on the shirt. He got the shorts with the, uh, the burgundy maroon matching his face mask. And I, I think it's definitely a, a dope look. And to contrast that on the feet, you got the white socks going into the Sean Clivers, man, holiday sneaker. Yes, he's rocking it in the spring going into the summer, um, but it doesn't matter. 
that sneaker is just super dope i think all year around even though it did release in in the christmas time holidays and and the detail on that those sneakers is just premium i'm still looking for them i'm going to get them eventually hopefully the price comes down one day we just got to mention right here nike really played with our emotions this week that passed because it seemed like there was exclusive access or a second chance being offered for these climbers and then just out of nowhere it was a dunk reserve that came out and it was dunks that you know granted they're all cool but the climbers weren't there and it broke all of that's us. what we wanted that's what we really wanted so why I mess with why? us there, Nike. Why, why, why you do this to us, Nike? Next up, we're bringing it into the wrestling world again because you know your boy just can't get enough of this. So we're going to be talking about the All Elite Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. And here's why. These dudes had the audacity, the audacity to rock Nike Air Jordan Dior 1s in a wrestling ring these dudes were dripped out in you know the silver tone gear that matches the dior ones and they were wrestling in them going all over the ring you know just stomping on them it was absolutely insane and not just that these guys did a little photo shoot in the back rocking the gear you know stunting for the photos and Matt Jackson, you had the audacity to get down on one knee and crease the Dior ones. You son what? of a You son of a You heal. You <laughs> dirty heal, you. Next up, we got Drizzy Drake. And apparently in the fall of 2021, he's going to get another Nike collaboration this time with the Nike Hot Step Air Terra. Um, I don't know, this is just classic Drake. He'll either go for, you know, majority black or majority white colorway. This one is majority white. Just clean, classic, nothing fancy, nothing too showy. Um, that's typically his style when it comes to sneakers. So, you know, when I look at these, I'm not too wild about them. I'm not gonna go for them. They, they are what they are to me. It is what it is, um, but you know, the boy Drake, he, he's deep in the Nike pockets. <laughs> so this doesn't surprise me that he has this co collaboration coming later this year. Now we're coming to the conclusion of Sneaker Watch where we'll talk about some of the upcoming heat that's about to release. I'll go first with my choice uh, for this month. And I'm gonna go with a path that's a little bit different because I don't know if people are really feeling these or not, but I'm gonna go with the Air Jordan 1 Rush Shadow, okay? Ooh. These were formerly the Patinas and Nike did its thing of changing the name right before the release. So now they're the Rush Shadows. Um, and, and obviously that coincides with the Shadows that released some years ago. And they also look like them. I don't know, they're dropping on May 4th. Um, it's gonna be a draw because I guess they're anticipating the hype. A lot of things have been in, in, in draw format. And I, I think because these resemble the shadows and my shadows are like dying out on me, I kind of want them. And it's just interesting, kind of like that rust vibe, that like copper and gray on it with the black tones. I think it's just a good fall shoe. Um, so although it's maybe not appealing to everyone, I'm gonna I'm go for it. The only detail that kind of throws me off is the tongue. And what I think I might do too is switch out the laces to be like that kind of like dull green lace coloring. So I think I could do something special with these. So these over the Shadow 2.0s, Mike? Come back to me on that. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> For me, we're gonna be going with the LeBron 18 Low Atmos Biotech that are dropping on May 4th. I just think this is a clean sneaker. And not only does it take 
you know, the aspects of one of the greatest sneaker collaborations that dropped with Nike Atmos Biotech back in 03, but it's also on a LeBron silhouette. And I don't own a pair of LeBrons. I, I still have yet to hit on a pair of LeBron shoes that I really liked. I tried for the blue oranges that released recently. I tried for the Air Max 95s that released recently. And I just, I haven't had good luck with LeBron sneakers. So I'm hoping that the sneakers gods look kindly upon your boy let him have these because also it's at a reasonable price for lebron shoes it's at re it's retailing at 160 and i just i really like the colorway i like the hints of the dark mocha dark the hints of the khaki hints of you know that purple swoosh as well so i'm really excited about this sneaker i, I hope i can cop it and i hope we can do a review for y'all that's gonna do it for us today y'all let us know in the comment section down below what sneakers caught your attention. Let us know what you think about our upcoming heat, as well as what upcoming sneaker drops you're excited for. Give this video a like, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to follow us on the gram at underscore soul x soul. Thank y'all again for watching this video. Stay tuned for more content coming y'all way. Ah.